Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 61 of Direwolf20's Reworld series with Soren. Soren, how's it going? Hello! Our TPS issues are pretty much sorted now, by the way. Mostly because we're not generating new chunks, but just so you know. Yeah! So, I think I figured out what I need to do to get stuff... Oh things um for this boss fight so i've gotten my um bottling skill up to level 12 which is cool um to get your bottling skill up you have to brew custom brews uh which requires the witch's brews book and uh the witch's brews book so you know how like some mods have like custom potions where you can pretty much like add different modifiers together and make like super customized potions yeah yeah that's pretty much what we got so, like, ah, okay. different combinations of ingredients yield different potions. So, like, I made a brew of floating, for example, and I made it so that it, like, makes you fly. That is a pretty good way to level up your brewing skill, because it is nether wart and sugar cane, something we had a lot of both of. Nice. So I think, if you stand back, I'm going to try this, and hopefully this works. It requires another star, so I killed another wither. That's good. Should I throw TNT in? Would that help? It would not. Oh, okay. Um, that might be the potion that I want, I think, according to the thing I read online. Okay, so that totally didn't work. Diamond, um, or The altered power cults might be expecting you to have circles around your um, cauldron, which lower the cost significantly. Circles around the cauldron? Yes, if you look at the rituals page in the um, Witch's Brews book. All right, let me take a look at that real quick, and we will come back. All right, guys, so the circles for cauldrons appear to be a little bit smaller, as Phoenix just informed me. So this goes in the center here. We're going to want Flint and Tinder here. This dude... That dude. And I need to get my ingredients again. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, got all my stuff. Crossing my fingers that it works this time. It's doing something. Things are happening. Oh, hey, look, Shade of Leonard, how's it going? Oh! Hello, Shade of Leonard, how are you? Nice to see you. I mean, he's not going to attack me right off, right? I have to attack him first? No, he's friendly and just chills out until you actually attack him. Okay. So here's what I've done research on this fight. Um, the gist is... Apples. Boom and boom. You are going to go here. You can go here for emergency situations. Um, I fight him. He's like a normal boss for a little bit. And then he goes into like phase two where there are like three spirits that go near him. One spirit can take damage as normal. One spirit can only take damage from fire. <laughs> One focus fire. And one spirit can only take damage from potions of harming, which from what I've read, you can use a wand focus of shock to simulate. With the Earthshock upgrade. Correct. Earthshock upgrade required. And Earthshock being the one that like lets you throw something like that. That's like a potion of arming, pretty much. So, Soren's going to stand up there and watch. Are you a vampire yet, Soren? No. Why not? Because I have CNT. Vampire. TNT. Vampire. You can't do Batman, man. I'm not even trying, but so, so I've got, I, I actually actually made Terra Steel leggings because I figured it was about time I had a full set of Terra Steel on. I've got my Greater Band of Mana, I've got my Ring of Odin, I've got my Flight, I can put my Tainted Blood amulet on, which I believe a right click will do, so I can toggle between Flight and Regen, so that'll be nice. Um, got my Key of King's Law. I'm going to hang on to my Rod of Unstable Reservoir. I don't know what kind of damage this does, but hopefully it's a kind that will hurt that spirit thing. And are we ready? 
Do we have all the things? I think we do. Also, just to be sure, because quests, let's make sure that there's not something I have to do before I kill him. Nope, just need Leonard's urn. Okay, so here goes nothing! Ah! This guy's pretty easy so far. He's trying to shoot something at me and running around him in a circle. He's like, nope, can't deal with that. But we haven't gotten to the part that's really hard yet. This just looks cruel. Oh. Uh oh, are these the spirits? Those are weird looking spirits. Oh, okay, this. Oh, there's more spirits. He's summoning more. Oh boy, there's dizziness going on. This is not a good time for anybody. Who thinks that this is a fun fight? Not me, said Direwolf. Alright, I think I got him past. Nope. How did I, didn't. I die? I don't know. Did you shoot me? No, I'm pretty sure. Pretty right. sure. He's taking damage again. Soren, could you make me a few more golden apples and put them in the AE system? The notch apple one? As soon as I'm done getting my stuff back. Yep. Mortal Coil, I only have a minute left on this fight. And he keeps summoning new spirits, which is like cheating as far as I'm concerned. Something you're well versed in, I know. <laughs> I know. It's not fair, though. Dude, where's, like, the thing? Oh, there's another one hiding. Alright, like, I it would make sense if I could, like, kill these mortal, these little spirit things and then have a chance to hit him, but I really don't. Golden apples in the AA system. Thanks. Okay, yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> not even a little bit. I died too, so don't worry. Yeah. Like, I thought that the spirits would be like a one-time thing. Like, hey, he summoned spirits, you have to get rid of them, and then they're gone, and then you fight him again. But he, like, keeps spawning them to the point where I can't... Careful, I him. died right there too. Yeah. I need to... I don't know where he is because I just randomly died. Yeah, no, I see where he is. I'm gonna try and avoid him for a bit. Running away. All right, so I need to find another way around this. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we are back and I think we're ready for this to try again. I'm gonna give this another try. All right, Leonard, let's go, buddy. Get over here and give me what you got. Um, so that actually, it worked, but it didn't work because I had trouble killing the little spirits that he was summoning fast enough. 
I know. Let's see how this does damage wise. Not as much as my sword. But I can also do it from a distance, which is nice. So let's see. So speaking of things I can do from a distance. Nope, projectiles bounce off of them. I would very much appreciate it if Mr. Leonard would get out of that pool of water before he starts summoning little things. Come here, Leonard. Let's go. What are you doing in there? Stop just chilling. Can you get up on land, please, Leonard? That would be great. Um, is mine? No, I have plenty of mana. He just wants to hang out right where he is. Which is really annoying to me. You know what? I have an idea. Whoa. Oh, right. Because that was a terrible I... idea. Yeah, no, it was. The time limit got me. I forgot that there's like a oh, time limit yeah. to how long you can wait to kill him. Um, I have an idea. If I trap him in like a room, would that be better or worse? I feel like it might be better for those little wisp things he spawns, but I don't know. But yes, I forgot there was like a, you have to kill him in under so many minutes or you're dead immediately with no questions asked type thing going on. And death protection poppets, like don't protect. There's literally nothing you can do to protect yourself from that death. Oh, look, he decided to start walking around now. Thank you, Leonard, for not being stupid. He doesn't seem too upset with me either, which is nice. So I got that going for me. Which is nice. So this will go here, here, here. This can go away. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. Um, I could try the key of King's Law. I'm not sure how well that will work out, but we'll give it a shot. Um, you should go here. And that should be good. So let's regen health. <laughs> Take that, Leonard. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ah, don't do what you're doing. Stop doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> Sorry. Stop. <Blame> Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? What is that that you just did? Stop it, whatever it is. Explosions at range. <laughs> I mean, that I can see, but yeah, don't do that. The worst part about these little things he summons is that they're really hard to see. So like, I think there's one around here right now, but I can't quite see it. But he's definitely immune still. There it is.
You need to kill that thing soon. I know. I was on top of the tree and I randomly died. You're welcome to come help me. Every time I give you one shots for you, it's just magic. Another one of these stupid little things around? I really... It's the worst part of it is that I can't even see the little spirits because they're like super tiny. And by the time I get them... I don't even know how I'd do this without something. Sorry, you're gonna die again. You've got the mortal coil effect. Uh, what's I gonna do? Kill you. When it finishes. I'm running! I have an idea. Oh! I could have saved myself! I don't think milk actually works on it either anyway. Oh, okay. I've only got a... yeah. I got nothing on this fight, dude. I got nothing. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back, and Soren is haunting me. <laughs> yes. Um, I, 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 I have no idea. That, I, that guy is too hard. Um, I, I know it needs to be done. I just don't know how it's possible to do it. I mean, Soren making lots of explosions and making this terrain not flat definitely didn't help any matters. No. No, not even a little bit. Um, because it, it, was, it, was it made for a lot of places for little nasty monsters to hide. But I think even with that, um, it's still very, very hard of a fight. Like, it is nigh impossible. Like, I'm sure it's been done, but, like, wow. I've had some tough boss fights, but none that I couldn't, like, even come close to. That is just, woof, tough. Whatever happened to your thing that you used on death? What's that? The mana, the pink sprayer thingy. Um, I've used that, um... So, like, there's three spirits that he summons. Like, a bluish one that only takes damage from the lightning wand. Oh, uh, okay. There's a red one that only takes fire damage. So those two are actually easy to kill because my wands make it easy for them to die. Um, right. But the green one doesn't seem to take damage from those two wands. Um, and he, he seems like he only takes normal damage to me. Um... And he's really small, and he likes to fly around and be a little nuisance. Um, and hitting him with my sword is really hard, because he's so small. Um, but he doesn't seem to take damage from the other two effects, so I feel like sword's pretty much my only choice. Um, the Rod of Unstable Reservoir works once those spirits are dead, but he summons them back so quickly, and he's immune while they're up. So, does like, if any spirit is alive, he's he's immune. What's that? Oh, let's sleep, by the way. Does, it, does a bow work on the green one? Uh, it might, but they're so small it would be hard to hit. I might be able to hit it. I, don't, I can't confirm anything, but I might be able to at least try. Yeah. Um, Maybe a non-Earthshock lightning wand would be able to hit it as well. 
Uh, it's possible. I can give that a try. Why do we have no potatoes? Wow, why do we really have no potatoes? Because the pipe's broken again. Sweet, that pipe keeps disappearing on us, doesn't it? It's a different one this time, I think. It's closer to the barrel. So if my memory serves me correctly, it's you, you, and you. All right, so I got a normal lightning wand that I can put probably on this dude. Okay, um, I guess this will do. I mean, I'll try this one more time, but I'm not feeling it, to be honest with you. All right, you ready, Soren? Soren? Okay, how's your game, Vision? Yep, I think so. Where'd this guy wander off to? He's over by one of the villages. Great, so we can feast on their souls. Good, let him. All right, Leonard, it's me and you, buddy. Are you with me, Soren? I'm in the trees. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to start. All right. Got this, got this. This is the time that you die, Leonard. Don't shoot me now, Soren, remember. Yep. I think those just bounced off. Uh, yeah, projectiles will bounce. Three green. It might be hurting them. Projectiles bounce off them. Crap. And one green one on you. Come on. See, they also like go into into the ground. I've noticed, which is not ideal. Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, one red, one two green, one. Yeah. See, they go into the ground, which makes them very hard to kill. What is your imp doing? Uh, I think he's, he's trying to help. He is. There's one red one left. So much for the amp. That's okay with me. He made more already. All right, still not sure. See, they're so stinking hard to hit. And then he disarms me, and that's always a barrel of fun.
All right, Leonard, come on, buddy. See how quickly he respawns them, though? Yeah. He goes immune again. All right, I'm gonna die. Mortal Coil, I can't get rid of you. Curses. Yeah, no, there's nothing you can do about Mortal Coil. Yeah. At least I died in base this time. Yeah, they like, they spawn way too fast. There's literally not much I can do about it. Like, they just, every few seconds, there's another set of them. And it would be alright if the green ones were affected by one of these other area of effects I'm doing, but they're really not. Well, I set the red one on fire. Does that count? Yes. No, that one apparently it does not. And did not hurt it. There's the red one down. is fire damage. My wand is out of fire ability, so I have no more way of doing fire damage. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. I wonder if this counts as fire damage. Well, I hit it with a bow on fire, and then I think you got that, so we just killed it and now it. I've only got 45 seconds left of Mortal Coil. Where'd you go, Leonard? Oh my goodness! He spawned another set of them. Yeah, they were following me. All the bows are getting deflected by everything around here right now. I know. I don't understand. Even creepers. I know um, some of those creepers were real. Some of those creepers should oh. not be real. And I think throwing you had a potion pick that first one was turnip. <laughs> oh goodness, he keeps... It... He spawns them as fast as we can possibly kill them. Oh good news, the green ones I can hit with my pickaxe. My moral coil keeps getting refreshed, so I don't know what that's all about. But I'll take it. Okay, I just died magically, even though it seemed like I had a lot of health. Alright, I give up. I officially give up. Alright guys, we are back, and I give up on killing him. He is definitely like... Like... I know what to do, I don't know that it's possible. Like, that, there's just no way that I can kill those little spirits faster than he's spawning them. Um, as far as I can figure out. There's probably, like, some crazy in-depth way, but I think... I think we're good. I don't think we need to kill him. So what do you say, Soren? Is it TNT time? TNT all the time! So how do you want to do this? And where are you? I, I am right next to the smeltery stuff. Um, I have this TNT. What's that? I It's mechanism obsidian TNT. I cool. have this TNT. Okay. And I used to have something. Mm. Still have something. Cool. Phew. And I also have this thing. What's that? 
Oh, the pew pew. Pew pew. Wow, I actually did a lot of damage. Okay. Hey, where'd my eye have The other though? thing I was going to suggest, Dyer, was that you use the Academy Craft slash aim command to um, give yourself the railgun ability. Oh? Yeah. Where'd my eye have That one is very destructive. That would be nice to know. I don't know where my eye of flugel went. Oh well, since we're wrapping up the map anyway. Uh, so how do I do that? Give me a sec to figure it out. Uh, aim, learn, skill, something like that. Probably. Yes. I <laughs> Could we have which tree What's the skill name? Railgun. Uh, rail gun. I have a feeling it might be Electromaster. I nominate myself for creative. I don't even know if I want to give Soren up, even though we're wrapping up the series. <laughs> set ability level. So what ability level should I set myself? Oh, aim, learn all. That worked. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Oh, hello. Penetrate, teleport, mark, teleport, flash ripping, huh? Location, teleport, shift, teleport, flashing. These guys aren't very good at telling me what they are. Let's give it a shot. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's come back in a second when we're ready to do this. I want to try this on Soren. Hey, Soren, hold still. Looks like that's... Um, learn all command just gives you all the ones for the one oh. tree you've got. How much did that do? Uh, at least a heart. Oh, goodness, three hearts. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, interestingly, I don't feel like I can give Soren, so I do have to op him. So, so what does he need? Railgun. So if you let him do the learn all command, it should give him the railgun ability. Okay. All right, Soren, you should be able to type this with a slash in front. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay, let's see here. I know, it's a lot of things. Are you good? I had to turn on cheats because apparently you did that earlier on. There we go. Um, that's neat. Sweet. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. All right, I think Soren's got his railgun ability ready. So you want to show me what this does? Do the thing. Oh, that's Thunderbolt. Oh, goodness. Ah. Ah. Railgun, that one. There we go. You will need coins for the railgun. You tell us this now? Like, what kind of coins? The Academy Croft coin item. Here, Soren. Right. So I was like, I'm gonna go craft it. Uh hit no worky. Nope. Weird. Should we set this stuff off and see what happens? Ah, I was never set it off. Oh, hello. Did you do that? Yep. Nice. Interesting. All right. Well, while we have this, yeah, 
Yeah, what's Obsidian TNT do that normal TNT doesn't, I wonder? Looks like slightly larger radius. I'm getting ready to blow up our base. Can I blow up the fusion reactor? Is that like a thing that can happen? Did you start the explosions early, Soren? No! Do you always start the explosions early? <laughs> Every time we want to destroy something. I was placing TNT. I think the redstone on the Protania thing lined it, lit it. Uh-huh. Pretty sure COFH has a kill items command. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, the lag manity. Okay. Hey, our creatives or the thing survived. What is that? I still have my auto clicker on. All right, guys, we're back after Soren, as usual, messed this up. Maybe. <laughs> like every time, every, every time, time. It's, every we're time we're like we're gonna blow stuff up. Soren, all of a sudden, like, how did you do this much damage already? I was auto clicking with TNT, and I think I got way too close to your mana white uh, redstone signal, and it lit one of them, and then lit all of them. Dyer wants to have a little bit of fun. But there's still a lot of base left, actually. There's villages too. Yeah, yeah, there's villages too. That's right. No, dude, like <laughs> you every time. We should revert. We should totally revert to the end. Yeah, because I made a backup before we did this. Totally. Have you not learned? Soren and his auto clicker. I was like, you know what? This time, Soren <laughs> will be good. That. And nope, times a million. But I will give the Obsidian TNT this. It is good at um, spreading to adjacent Obsidian TNT. It's actually quite good at that. Oh goodness, that's really cool TNT. All right, we're gonna stay from any redstone and you're gonna get the one. What is it? Oh, okay. Kill all items seems to do it. All right. Oh my goodness. Soren with his things. I definitely want to blow up this witchery stuff. Sorry, even if I love your mod, but Leonard and me are not friends. Me and Leonard are brutal, mortal enemies now, and I will kill him one day. I mean, I chained over to this one. Oh, goodness, what have you done? <laughs> nice. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Epic. Ent. Yeah, the end's there, and then there's just the end portal. <laughs> nice. All right, so I think we're going to wrap up the series now. Soren, you can keep blowing things up for your stream if you want, but I'm going to wrap up the series. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna keep blowing up Soren's TNT as he places it. Nice. <laughs> See how you like it. Somebody blew up his TNT. Ah, I like that obsidian TNT. It's actually pretty good for basey blowy uppy stuff. All right, guys. Daryl Twenty signing off along with Soren, I presume. On. The old Rego series is pretty much done. So we will come back uh, in the future, possibly with another HQM series or another series together in some form, I'm sure. Um, if yep. not an upcoming Forge graph at the very least. Um, but, you know, who knows. But for now, take it easy.